What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're back up north, so we're in Fongmatara at the moment. We're gonna go out on the water on the kayak. We're gonna troll with some of these guys. These are the Saltwater x rat Rapalas. They're about eight centimeters long and they're absolutely dynamite. So I'm gonna flick out a few colors, go for a little troll and hopefully we can pick up a nice winter kahawai. And while you're there, I'd like you to like and subscribe because it really helps me and allows me to keep doing these sorts of videos. I can keep bringing you content, so just hit that subscribe button right there, give it a like, share, and that'll help me out heaps. Cheers, thanks guys, see you out there. What's up guys, here we are. Fongmatar, we're just launching out the estuary. As you can see, there's loads of little cockles and stuff under the sand. You can just pick them up. Look at that, plenty of bait, plenty of food around. So hopefully we're gonna get out there, get some fish. I'll just show you my kayak. So currently I'm using a Fishmaster kayak. And this is about a, I think it's a 3.8 meter one. and. Unfortunately, I don't have many rods at the moment, so I'm currently using my trout jigging rod as well as just a little weed soft bait rod. And what I'm doing is I'm using these Rapala X wraps. So, Rapala saltwater X wraps, eight centimeters. And I'm finding these guys have been really, really good in the summer. So, we're just going to see if they're any good in the winter time. Hopefully, catch a nice, fat winter kahawai to use for bait or even eat. All right, let's see how it goes. See you out there. They don't have to be out too far. Just about 10, 15 meters. And they're just going to bob nicely behind the boat. All right guys, so when targeting car wire, they love being around those nice little rock beds, the weed beds, and they just sit along patrolling that whole area and wait for little bait fish to come out. And they just pounce on them. So hopefully we'll be able to get one to have a go at the law. It is midwinter at the moment. It's the end of July, so not sure how many there'll be around, but it's only one way to find out. Here it's a little bit windy, so we're nice in close to the shore being shouted from the wind and hopefully we'll find those fish. Let's go. It's really important when you're out here to be aware of all the other boats in your way because even though there are rules and regulations for other boaters to stay away from small vehicles like kayaks or paddle boards, a lot of the people either don't know or just don't follow those rules. So at all times, keep your eyes open watch out when you are in those boating lanes because the amount of times I've had people just speed past and just about flip you out it happens quite a bit so always keep your eyes peeled and of course it doesn't matter how confident how much experience you have wear that life jacket bring with you a communication device to call if you need help most importantly Enjoy this, enjoy being outdoors. Check out the scenery, just being on the water. It's... Some countries don't have the same opportunities we do to do some of the awesome stuff we can do right here in our own backyard in New Zealand. Fish on! Woohoo! Oh. It's on my light trout rod, and now I can see we're really tangling up. Hopefully, we can get this little fish in. Oh shit, I think he's run me into that weed bed. See if we can get them out. Woohoo! At least we're fishing. Oh, 
Damn, tell you what, it was a good strike. He powered off and he went straight into those weeds. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get him out. Yeah, I can feel him stuck in that big group of weeds. Now the lines are all tangled. <laughs> That's what they do, they hide in those wee beds, just patrolling and they see a little bit of something and they'll come up and smash it. <laughs> yeah, I can feel them kicking, these stuck me in those weeds. Ah, oh, just seen them come off. Oh well. That's fishing for you. <laughs> Alright, let's get this untangled and get another one. So we just had a big tangle up on board <laughs> and it reminded me very quickly why I used to only troll with one line. <laughs> big tangle up, I had to get out of there, that fish took me straight into the weed and sometimes it happens but you've got to remember if you do have those big tangled ups it happens to everyone, but make sure when you're sorting out all of that line, it doesn't go into the water. Those things will kill so many animals that live in the sea, and it's very important that anything you take out here, you've got to bring back with you. So make sure you're not dumping anything in the ocean. All that line secured. So let's get this rod out. Let's set it up and let's get another fish, eh? How good is it just being able to be out here? It's a gorgeous day that winds up a little bit, which is a bit annoying for kayaking, but man, you can't complain. I've spent so long stuck in a library, stuck in my room, looking at a computer screen studying, and to be out here in these beautiful blue spaces, it's just absolutely incredible. And I'm finally getting a bit of vitamin D, which Dunedin doesn't really provide a whole lot of during the winter. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's absolutely lovely. I urge you guys, get out there, get into the water, get outdoors, connect with nature, and just enjoy it while it's there, while you're young. Go do it. The easy way to know that you're fishing at the right speed when you're trolling these little bib floors is you just check that rod tip and it should just be bouncing, bouncing, bouncing as you paddle along. If it's if it's not, you could have a little bit of weed on it, or you might just be going a bit fast or a bit slow. So go to the rod, so it's good to have the rod in front of you, like mine, it's set up right here. And that way you can just always keep an eye on that rod tip, just making sure it's tapping along nicely, looking the most like a fish that it possibly can. All right, so we weren't getting a whole lot of action on that gray ghost color. So now we're gonna to try to this one. This one is my most successful one today. As you can see, it's got, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's loads of teeth marks with car wire, just car wire, trout, everything's even love that. They just smash it. So we're gonna give that a go, and hopefully we'll see if we can't bring the bite on with the color change. All right, let's see how it goes. Yep, fish on. Ah. And just like that, that's how it's done change of color took me about two seconds and they just jumped on it like that but way back further deep in the estuary now let's get a good look at this guy oh nice it's a little kawaii let me pull this guy in for you <laughs> oh it feels good to be hooked into a fish away from the weed this time <laughs> I've just got six pound of time braids, so I'm gonna take my time, put the little guy in, and there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! 
just like that. Got a beautiful little car wire, and look at that, he has just engulfed that thing. Check that out. Awesome stuff. Now this guy is going to be perfect size bait. I'm planning on going over to the mussel farm sooner or later, potentially tomorrow. So I think that guy is going to make perfect, perfect snapper bait. Awesome. There you go. And again, that's the saltwater x rap Rapala. And that's just lethal. That color has caught me more fish than any other lure that there is. So let's see if we can get another one. Oh yeah, got another one. I can get the rod out. Tell you what, that's their color and I think we found the fish. I can see my GoPro's just about out of battery. So it looks like now I've come across the fish. Ta-da! Another one. It's that easy, guys. Check him out. <laughs> nice shake for the camera. Chill out, bud. Let me show you to the... I want to show you to the YouTube people watching, that. <laughs> there we go. Another awesome, awesome fish. Beautiful colors these guys have. Absolutely awesome. Check that out. Another perfect size bait. Mwah. But you can also fry these guys up with some butter. And again, X Wrap Salt Water Rapala. That green color is dynamite on these Kahawai, especially when that water's a bit more murky like today. Been plenty of rain. So we're going to put this guy out of his misery, give him the welcome aboard spike. See, I've been fishing a number of years now and I like learning new things each time I go out and it's all experience you learn so much pretty much every time you do go out but it just shows you you don't need these really expensive rods to go fishing you know you only need to go out it can be a very expensive hobby especially when you're in situations where you can lose a lot of gear and it can add up very fast so sometimes it's not worth getting the most expensive rod, real line lure on the market. It's about just getting something that'll do the job. In fact, I might make a video just with some cheap little combos, seeing what we can catch on it. But that'll be in the future, because at the moment I don't really have the money to do that. <laughs> but yeah, just get out there, guys. Whatever you have, just get out there, give it a go, enjoy it. Because the fish are there. And fish on. Woohoo! Almost pulled my rod out of the holder. Luckily, we kind of caught it. <laughs> Bad to change to the blue because for some reason the bib actually snapped on the green one, so wasn't fishing so well. Oh gosh, it's fun. These car wire are pretty small, but man, they put up a fight. They've got to be one of the best fighting fish for their size. Pound for pound, by the little Bruce Lee's of the ocean. And this one is on the blue. So what X wrap Rapala. Let's get them in. Tell you what, you bring them in and they're not ready to stop fighting. <laughs> Oh. 
Alright team, so my GoPro is now out of battery, so that's probably all we're going to get done on that. But I might do a couple more runs, but overall it is just so much fun being out here, just paddling around, being close to the water on a little kayak like this. I mean, what a wicked day for it. It's actually quite nice for me because it's actually much more sheltered here inside the estuary. And in the past, in the summer, I've found all the fish outside of the estuary, but that winter, like, as you can see, there wasn't much going on out there. It's also been really murky. So it's actually quite nice just being out here in the calm, out of the wind, out of the swell. And yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're picking up fish. So it shows you midwinter kahawai, they can be caught. They are coming into the shallows. So get out there with a the rod, a couple of spinners. They'll, they'll pretty much eat anything that goes past them. So just flick something out, give it a go. And yeah, I might try and get a couple of videos on this phone if I can, but it's unlikely they'll be that great. <laughs> Just like that, managed to get another one. <laughs> Who needs a GoPro anyway <laughs> when you've just got your phone? There we go, another nice one. Perfect size snapper bait. So we're just going to pull it down up. It's going to be fantastic. All right team, so we've just pulled up. Took a while to find the fish, but once we found them, got into them, ended up, ended up doing a few after the GoPro died. Yeah, that's all we got time for. So it really help me out if you guys hit subscribe, like it, share it, comment, whatever you want. And we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.